Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 4, America's Next Top Model. So we have five girls still left in the competition. Jackie Lynn, Haley Rachels, Annalise Wolf, Elise Summers, and Deborah Waller. Oh, and we have our butler who takes care of us because... I'm saying us, but the girls. So today we have a fun competition. Ooh, what's in your hand? Oh, it's oatmeal. I put a new catwalk in town, which the girls are going to go visit, and I'm going to judge them on their walking ability. Because as you know, in The Sims 4, you can program their walking. I never gave them a certain walk, and that's what I'm going to judge them off, off of. If they have a or straight out of the get-go good walk, they are safe. If not, there might be some punishment. And then depending how long that takes, I might come up with another challenge for them. But now let's go to the catwalk. Okay, so the catwalk, I downloaded off the gallery. I don't know who made it. I don't know what the name of it is. I just really liked it, and it, was, it took up a whole lot. So the girls are backstage right now. I'm going to put them in some nice clothes, outfits. Should, what about their formal clothes? Is that... Mm, Wait, that's their party clothes. No, this is their formal. You know what? I'll put them in their formal clothes. And I have to turn off their free will because they're just going to wander off. Okay, everyone's in their formal outfits. Perfect. Elise, I, I mean, yeah, that's your name, right? Elise. Elise, I see that you're eating some food. Can you please stop? Okay. Oh, it's getting a little dark, but I feel like it should be fine. Okay, we'll start with Jackie Lynn. Jackie Lynn, can you please go here? We need to watch you strut your stuff. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Hey, good job ladies you guys didn't do half as bad as I thought you would so let's all go home cuz I think I have a fun new challenge okay so the ladies are home they're gonna go into the wonderfully huge walk-in closet which just so happens to have five closet doors okay about time I finally get them got them in here so now you are going to Try out a new outfit. Everyone try out a new everyday wear. And then I will judge you. And that will be your standings for today. I'm going to give them three chances. We're going to go through three different outfit changes. Oh, okay. Um, It's going to be a point system, so... If you dress well, you get a point. Okay, let's look at these outfits. I don't even know what to say. You, um, we're judging on overall look. No, the gloves, your gloves right here. Why would you wear gloves if you're not in like New York and carrying a huge like fur coat on your back? So no, you don't get a point today, I'm sorry. You actually dress really well. Very simple. Very simple, but still very nice. 
I don't like the yellow color, but I'll give it to you. You dress literally like a clown, so you get no points for today. Thank you. You, what are you wearing? Okay. Uh, I don't like this overall outfit, but I will give you a point for it. I like that you match the shoes. Your shoes here with the dress. It looks... I like your derp face. Derp. Derp. You're dressed literally like a clown too. So, no points for you. Jackie Lynn. Everyone back in your closets, change. Well, let's wait for the other girls first. Okay, you're, you're, you learned from Annalise. Good job, Haley. I like your look. You matched the pink on your dress with your pink shoes. You get one point, Haley. Annalise, you... I have no words yet, but you're a train wreck. How, the, you don't look good. Look at this. You have purple shoes, gray, and red. That doesn't look good. No. No points for you. Oh, she's like, give me the points. Give me the points. Okay. I don't care for the flip-flops, but you're getting a point. I feel like if I don't give you a point, Jackie, it's racist. And I'm going to give you a point because I don't understand what religion or, like, culture you're trying to dress as. And I feel like if I get, don't give you a point, it's racist. Okay. Everyone back in your closets, try out the last new outfit of the day. Some of you guys don't have points. Some of you do. We'll see who comes out on top. You want to be on top? You want to be on top? Haley, closet. Annalise, closet. Are you deaf? Are you dumb? We're waiting for the other girls. I think it's also a challenge because I think there's no light in the closet. Therefore, they have to get dressed literally in the dark. Haley. Here we go. Okay. No, 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 no. No. You thought you could turn around? No, no, no. No. I'm going to start with you first. Wait, you just changed outfits. I'm not going to give you a point because you changed outfits because I feel like you just cheated. No, no, no. You just changed outfits too. You don't get a point. You were dressed like a clown. Okay, I like it. I get a very, like, Daphne from Scooby-Doo vibe from you. Uh, you did so well the first time, Annalise. You have, like, a keen eye for fashion, and you decided to dress like a clown these last two times. And you! I, I, I can live with this outfit. You get one point. Hey, ladies. Time to go into the judging room. Hello, ladies. Welcome to the judging room. Today, you were given two tasks, to walk and own the runway, and to literally get dressed in the dark. You all did amazingly well when it came to the runway. When it came to getting dressed in the dark, a lot of you fell short. I have reviewed your performances, and I have four pictures in my hand. The girl who does not make it must be sent up to the roof and be killed. Let's start. First person, Deborah. Then, second place, Jackie. Followed by Annalise. And last but not least, Haley. All the way over here. Elise, a beautiful, somewhat young woman, stands before me. And even though you couldn't make it, it's fine because you will no longer continue to live. In this competition, you must get dressed in the dark sometimes. Sometimes you're in the back of a runway and you are blind and you're just grabbing fabrics, throwing them on. Whatever you say will not help you. Yeah, sorry. I have made my decision. And you, unlike the rest of the ladies, could not dress yourself in the dark, so you must die. Elise, please meet me on the top of the roof. We'll keep this very, very simple.
Oh, I forgot to move this grave. Sorry, Stella. Got to move your grave into our graveyard. Speaking of which, we have a new graveyard, everyone. Courtesy of America's Next Top Model. They support what we're doing here. Elise? Oh my god, you're too uncomfortable. That's fine. Okay, Annalise is in there. Let me close the pool. I'm so sorry, but this is what happens when you don't take this game seriously. If you don't take the game seriously, you will die. It's just common knowledge. I did have to remove her clothing because her clothing is America's Next Top Model property. Let's see what the other girls are up to. Sleeping. Sleeping. Jackie Lynn. About to go to sleep, probably. Annalise? Gonna pass out. Oh no! Elise is drowning! Oh shoot. No, just kidding. That's what you get for not taking this job seriously. Being a model is no joke. That's what you get. Grim Reaper, thank you so much for taking care of this. You know these models, Grim. It's just, they don't take the job seriously. You know, you used to be a model. That's why you're so thin. Okay, I'm going to leave it off here. Let this be a lesson to you if you do not take the modeling world seriously. You will drown. I'm going to leave this off here. Like, subscribe, comment, do all those fun YouTube things. <laughs> and I will catch you all next time. Bye, everybody.